www.ghoststrategy.com Good morning, this is your daily video analysis for Thursday, July 10th. Uh, let's take a look at the economic calendar. Right off the bat, we have a whole slew of economic data coming out of China, starting with the new new one loans. Uh, all the data coming out of uh, China today, including M1, new one lo uh, the new one loans, etc., will play will have will cause a lot of volatility within the forex markets, especially with the uh, yen. Uh, just released moments ago, Australia released its employment uh, change. Came out a little bit better than expected at 15.9 uh, thousand. Uh, this sh should uh, play give uh, some volatility with the Australian uh, Australian dollar and other currency pairs as well. Their employment rate uh, came out also a little bit higher than expected at six percent. Uh, throughout the day, we'll also we'll, we'll also get data from uh, the euro uh, from the eurozone. The ECB will be uh, publishing its uh, monthly uh, monthly minutes from the last meeting that's uh, due out later on this afternoon. We also have. Uh, Key data coming out of England today. Uh, G we'll be getting the uh, Bank of uh, England's asset purchase purchase target uh, a little bit later t this morning at 11 a.m. Uh, uh, GMT time, and the Bank of uh, England will also release its uh, data decision later this morning at, at the same time. We're expecting no change with that. Yeah, the United States has some data coming out as well, uh, like new housing uh, prices, continuing claims. Wholesale inventories uh, and wholesale trade coming out later this afternoon around two, between uh, twelve and two o'clock GMT time. Let's take a look at some technical analysis. Uh, right off the bat, we have the Dow Jones. As you can see, the Dow Jones fell from its record high, but it's still trading above a key support at sixteen thousand five hundred. In fact, we are still above sixteen thousand seven fifty. Looks like we are trading a little bit sideways, consolidating a little bit right now, trading sideways. The S&P 500 also fell back from its our record high, but remains above a key uh, support level at 1,950. But it also looks like it's about to consolidate a little bit before making its next move. But turning to uh, a little bit of uh, commodities, looking at gold for today, we are at around 1324.30. We remain above a key support at 1310 and for sure above uh, 1295 while above these levels <coughs> while above these levels we remain uh, bullish looking at uh, a little bit of forex now the euro dollar has uh, recovered a little bit we are still bouncing uh, well below a medium term trend line as well as the 200 day moving average and below a uh, key resistance at 1.3650 finally I'd like to take a look at the uh, pound dollar we, we've started to uh, lose a bit of momentum we've been uh, locked in a nice little bull run going back the last few months we lost a little bit of momentum uh, at around 1.723 we still remain uh, well above a key uh, support of 1.70500 I would thank you for listening today and check back in tomorrow for your next video have a wonderful day trading